really not offshore all that quickly, and, no. and you got to think about it. In places in the Northeast, it's been hanging around since really like late Friday and Saturday. Mm. So you have what three, four days that it's been just raining, and even though the rainfall mm. rates aren't as high as they were when it came on shore initially, it's still been raining for four days. And Brian, yeah. this was a pretty slow moving system, yeah. right? Yeah, once it moved in and it did start to slow down and moving in the Carolinas this weekend, that's what kept our weather dreary for both Saturday and Sunday. They've been getting the bulk of the rain up that way. So let's take a look at the radar. We'll show you what the position is, and that's where this remnant low represents. That's the leftovers of Ian. On closer inspection, you can see we have substantial rains coming inland, uh, really from Long Island uh, down into Delaware. Uh, it extends into western Maryland, Scranton, PA. Uh, continues to bring some wet weather in, and this is what's call it causing the flooding. You know, you can get uh, some good pops of rain coming down fairly heavily. It lightens up and then it returns, uh, but it could bring several inches of rain, and that's what's causing the flooding. Down here, we're just far enough away where we're starting to lose the influence. Uh, temperatures as a result have dropped in the lower 40s for much of the area this morning, including a reading of 42 currently at PTI Airport in 43 in Winston Salem. That's a, draw, a double digit drop in temperature from where we were yesterday at this time. Now we did get to 68 yesterday. We're starting out cooler this morning, so even though temperatures should begin to normalize a bit more, uh, getting down to the lower 40s, you got to make up that difference in the afternoon. So I think we'll get, see mid 60s today. I've got us at 67 this afternoon. We'll see if we get there. The average high and low are in the mid 70s and mid 50s respectively for this time of year. So we're much cooler than that and should stay that way at least for another day. Uh, more sunshine than clouds. A north northwest wind at five gusting as high as 10, maybe 15 miles per hour. But breezes should be less than what they were yesterday. Uh, with fewer clouds, I expect temperatures in the foothills to be a degree or two warmer than the triad this afternoon. I've got us at 68 today. Mountain temperatures in the upper 50s, plenty of sunshine there, maybe an occasional cloud, but not much more. We got a beautiful week of weather uh, for the Dixie Classic Fair. After a rough start with the weather, things are looking fantastic. So try to get out uh, an afternoon for lunch or maybe later this evening for dinner would be a good bet. High school football on Friday. Temperatures will be in the 60s for all area games. And then Elon uh, is hosting the Towson Tigers. That's a two o'clock kickoff on Saturday. Noticeably cooler, though. Temperatures will be in the lower 60s this weekend after peaking Thursday and Friday with highs in the mid 70s this week.